welcome to another Guild Ball Informer video. You're joined by me, Jay. And me, Chris. And we are here to introduce the man sat next to me. Um, long and short of it is, say hello to your new channel co-host, Chris Hay. Hello. Yay, applause. Um, I'm really enjoying making this stuff for you guys on YouTube. Uh, me and Chris met through Guild Ball. We did, um, yeah. It's been a decision we've, we've talked about for a little while now and ultimately I want to get more content to you guys and better quality content and I can do that with a second person in videos and we can cover more stuff. So as of right now when you're watching this guys, Chris is officially part of the Guild Ball Informer team. Thank so you. we're now a two man outfit, we we're are, moving. Yes. It's now partly my Guild Ball Informer. Yeah. So we're, we're a double Guild Ball Informer. Something like that. We're, it's, yeah, that's it. It's no longer Guild Ball Informer, it's the Guild Ball Informer team. team. We're yeah. a team. And so, I, really, I'm just your skinny. Uh, yeah, just, just, just a minion. Do what you say, follow you around. And, Correct. But um, hopefully this will mean uh, I'm getting set up with a, a new camcorder. Yeah, we're, gonna get, we're getting Chris's own camcorder so we can cover events that maybe Chris is at that I'm not exactly um, things like that and I'll be able to film some stuff uh, at home unboxings and reviews and hobby things. stuff yeah hobby you do stuff, a lot yeah, more painting than I do, than I do. Yeah. so for those watching uh, I'm sure you guys have listened to me waffle long enough um, Chris is going to give you a brief overview of who Chris Hay is so <laughs> you are who are you uh, I'm Chris as you're Chris see. hello Chris Hay so um, hobby background so um as most of us did getting into the hobby, I started sort of tabletop gaming back uh, in secondary school when I was sort of 13, yeah, I was playing same. fantasy mm -hmm. uh, was my main one. I think my dad bought me the Island of Blood box. Uh, oh, we played high elves, and, it was high elves and Goblins. Oh yeah, okay. Um, and then did that for a while, played a bit of 40k, uh, joined a hobby club at, uh, at school, but then uh, went off to university. Um, found and beer and women. Found beer and all that yeah. sort of stuff and stopped playing that. And then it's only fairly recently, the last couple mm -hmm. of years, that I'm exactly the same. Uh, yeah. now I'm working and have a bit more disposable income and have a bit more spare time. Yeah. Um, got into into gaming, moved to Manchester relatively recently mm -hmm. and uh, I've been going to Northwest Gaming Centre, my yep, local, that's... same as Jay. Yep. Um, primarily Malifaux. I played Malifaux exclusively for about a year before Guild Ball mm -hmm. um, and then six months, nine months, whenever Guild Ball started. Uh, January time yeah. when it finally came wow, out. Wow, was it that long ago? January, now? yeah, I remember. A, remember we met in quite the early days, didn't we? We played. Uh, a bit I think it might have been just after January. It was yeah, delayed yeah, a little bit because yeah. Um, yeah, I got some stuff then. I now pretty much play Guild Ball exclusively. Uh, I, as uh, do I, yeah. I've fallen completely over head over heels in love <laughs> with so, it. So, so that, that's a bit of a background that's on Chris. Background. Um, I'm really glad he's on board. We've become very good friends through, through Guild Ball. Um, no doubt even more through the channel. Um, tell us a bit more about you and Gilbert. You are a tournament winning player, which is good because we need one person here who actually knows what he's talking about. Exactly. You brought me on for the tactical now. Exactly. Um, so yeah, I've been to five tournaments now. I won the first one, which was... My tournament. Your tournament. It was... What was the name of it? I should remember. Um, I should know. So much um Oh, it was Toy Soldier. Toy it was, Soldier, of course. It was part it was. of a multi-format multi event. One. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, Chris right. won... Um, his first event in Manchester, yep. which was good, and you've been... I've been to five, so then I went to uh, BritCon, where I finished second. Yep, I finished like 15 um, BritCon. <laughs> uh, well, I finished second on both days, because it was a two-day format. The Is that Steve was Newton, was winner of 2015 was, BritCon? Yes. That he doesn't like that to tell people? he doesn't like, okay. keep rubbing in okay. to people. <laughs> um, and the second day, he came second as well, but that was a uh, first to eight point speedball. Ah, cool. Um, and then... Um, Played at the one um, over in the other side of the country in Hull. Oh, you all took a drive down. So to yeah, we took, went on a bit of a road trip from Manchester mm -hmm. over there. Um, finished third in that one. Nice. Um, and then the latest one was uh, the Guild Cup. It certainly was. Yeah, that was me. Um, and finished what I thought was third, but later on became fourth. So it was just a VP. Yeah, we had a bit of a, a, a bit software of issue. issue. So as you can tell, guys, Chris is a very good Guild Ball player. He's placing um, something. One, I don't get much time to go to tournaments, and two, I'm tend to be hosting Indeed. a lot of them. So Chris can give you a different aspect of tournaments and stuff. And um, what guilds you play? Just for the you like me, I think I, I we both own pretty much all the teams. Yeah, so I flitted around a lot. Fishermen were the guild that brought me in. To I guild remember our first game you played Fishermen. So yeah. that was just the aesthetics I absolutely loved. Um, I, I now own your Fishermen. You do indeed. <laughs> um, and then, but Union is what I've played it pretty much exclusively at tournaments. I did play Alchemists, uh, well Alchi Union at mm -hmm. the the speedball event. But Union is where my heart is really tournament yeah. wise. Um, but You're a dirty crook, is what you're saying. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm a dirty, uh, <laughs> dirty uni player. But recently, I've vowed to play uh, other other teams. I think I'm going to play Morticians at my next tournament, which is the Halloween one in Doncaster. Don't mm-hmm. touch the hair, run by Brad. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and play a tournament with every team just to get a feel for things. Good stuff. Um, and I think yeah, one of the things that I'm going to try and bring to the channel is more um, more games. So yes, film some we can really work at the battle reports content, and stuff. Some battle now reports, which now I think everyone's trying out. Yeah. And we need to get better than the Battle Hammer. I think they're the, kind of the only, uh, only podcast at the moment actually yeah. doing sort of battle reports yeah. for people. So we'll uh, big up to them yep. getting that started. But we'll, uh, guys. we'll try and bring some content like and what that. What we should do is we should do a four player Guild Ball Informer versus Battle Hammer. We should definitely <laughs> do that. We, we should do that this Gallic show. So, guys, that is Chris. I'm glad he is on board. Uh, let us know what you think, if you think I should sack him instantly <laughs> or not. Um, we'll it's him. great to have him as part of the Guild Ball Informer team. So we're going to leave that there, guys. So, as always, comment, like, share, and subscribe. This video has been with me, Jay. Uh, me, Chris. And happy Guild Balling, guys. Cheers.